Okay, I've had a lot of new consultants ask me how to set up a business page. Um, and so it's a lot like setting up an event or a group, um, but let me walk you through that. So you have pages over here um, on the left hand side of your screen, pages, and you'll click this little more button and you can create a page. So if you click the create a page button, it's gonna ask you a bunch of questions you may or may not know the answer to. And really and truly, the only reason these answers um, even matter is because um, Facebook will group you into a certain type of business. And so you want, when someone search, searches for like a beauty product, you may want your Jamberry Nails to pop up. Um, and so, Pick these based on what you think your customers might be searching for. Like they're probably not searching for an artist or a band and wanting Jamberry Nails, right? Probably not entertainment, not a cause or community. So I would choose, in this case, a brand or a product. Okay, once you have picked your brand or product, um, you want to choose a category, which will be, uh, there's a ton of things that Jamberry Nails could fit into, but I feel like the best one is probably health and beauty. Um, and then your brand or product name. Now this is going to be the title of your page. So you want this to be your name. And then you want it to be, you want it to have uh, the word Jamberry in it so you know uh, exactly what the product is. But Jamberry requires that we include the words independent consultant in this title because they don't want anyone to be confused with uh, one of us who are consultants and home office. So um, this needs to be Christy Tyner. It can be Independent Consultant Jamberry or Jamberry Independent Consultant. So get started. All right. So again, this is just a whole bunch of stuff uh, that you want to include on your page. The about part, you would want to fill in um, something pretty simple because you got to think if you go to a business page, are you really going to read two paragraphs? Probably not. You're like, what is this product? Tell me as quickly as you can. You only have 155 characters to do it. So obviously, Facebook knows that this is what you need to do as well. So I will just type some gibberish. You can type whatever you want. Make sure you include your website here. Um, I'll go ahead and put mine. Now, I already have a business page, so it may give me an error if I try to put in some of this stuff. Now, here, this part, um, choose a unique Facebook web address. All this is is a, so you can give people this link to go straight to your business page. If you don't enter something here, like I would probably put Christy, I can spell my own name, Tyner Jamberry. Um... I can give this to them. I can say, just go to you know facebook.com backslash Christy Tyner Jamberry, and that's my business page. If you don't put that, then Jamberry will assign your page a link that's some kind of gibberish, like some letters and numbers, and it's not something you can probably give to a customer. Um, I rarely give out this link anyway. I just say, hey, find me on Facebook. And if they search Christy Tyner, my personal page will come up, my Jamberry business page will come up, probably some groups I've started will come up, that kind of thing. So um, as long as you make sure they know your name, um, then they should be able to find you anyway. So I'm going to save this info. Okay, now look, it gave me a, it gave me a error because Christy Tyner Jamberry is already taken. Um, so let me just do some gibberish <laughs> just for the sake of this tutorial. All right, so now your profile. You want this profile picture to be something um, very professional. Um, if you have a professional headshot, that would be great. Um, if not, a picture of some of our products on hands or maybe a special we're running that month or something like that would be fine. So I'm going to skip this part for now. Add to favorites. So you can add this to your favorites list so that every time you log in over on the left side of the screen it will be a quick option you can pick and I do suggest doing that um, so that you can always get to your business page when you need to post. I'm sorry I have a ton of notifications popping up during this tutorial. Alright, preferred page audience. So you don't have to do this. You don't have to do any of those things but you probably want to. Um, you can include a location that you want this to be your preferred audience. 
Um, you can do an age range, you can do gender range, you can do interest. And here's the thing, it's not going to limit um, who can see your page, but it's, it's going to put you in some extra groups that Facebook will search for. So um, if you put your location in there, then someone who searches beauty products, your page might pop up toward the top of their list rather than just kind of intermixed in between if if they know if you put an age range of 25 to 40 which is mostly Jamberry's demographic we do not want to stay in that demographic we want to get out to all demographics but right now the main people who buy our product are age 25 to 40 so if you wanted to put that age range in just because you know they're going to be extra interested when someone in that age range that is a woman we probably definitely want to put women as our demographic um, then it will pop up uh, sooner on their list Again, that's totally optional. Now you have a business page. And so it is your job to, this will give you a little tutorial, this getting around tutorial. If I hit next, it'll walk me through um, what all of these options up here are, messages, notification, publishing tools, all that. I'm going to close it because you can explore that on your own. But the main thing you need to do is make sure you have a professional photo here and you have a professional backdrop. Uh, these are also called banners, these cover photos. Now, if you go to the Jamberry Flickr account, you literally can Google Jamberry Flickr, and you will see Jared Richards, and he is from Home Office, and he controls our Jamberry Flickr and updo updates all of the professional imagery that our amazing photography team um, takes for us. So use one of their banners. It will be completely professional. It'll be current. It'll be up-to-date. It'll be trendy. Um, it's going to be your best bet than to try to create something on your own. Um, there, I mean, you can explore the rest of this. So as of right now, this is what this tutorial is about, is setting up this business page. Go through and add all these things. Uh, you don't have to add your street address unless you have a retail store, which if you're a direct seller, then you do not have a retail store. Um, you can add your phone number if you want. You can add the price range if you want. You can do all of these things. So you can create albums, all of this wonderful stuff. Now, here's my advice to all of my consultants keep your uh, personal timeline personal and keep all of your jamboree stuff on this uh, business page now what that means is you need to get people liking your business page so i suggest in the first you know few weeks that you open it you hold some kind of a raffle or drawing or something that that would draw people in and just click that little like button because after they click that like button then they will start getting notifications from this page. Now if I have something really amazing, a picture I want to share or a, a special deal I'm offering and I really want all of my Facebook friends to see it, I will still post it on my business page but then I will share it onto my personal timeline because Facebook does not like when people try to sell or solicit on their personal pages. So try not to ever ever do that. If you ever are posting a deal or trying to sell a product, post it on your business page where it belongs and then as a person, share what that business has posted. So as a person, I'm going to share what Christy Tyner Jamberry Nails has posted on their business page. So Facebook likes it when you do it this way because it's still a person who's sharing something they're interested in. It's not a business advertising on a personal timeline. So I, I advise you to do that. I also advise you to, as much as we are passionate and excited and obsessed with this product and this company and how good it is to us, um, try to keep your personal timeline personal as much as you can. My goal is always for every 10 personal posts, I will allow one Jamboree post um, just from me. It, it may be some new nails that I just put on for game day or something like that. But I'm going to intersperse that with so much more of my kids and my husband and my home and my life and my hobbies um, so that my friends don't get um, tired of hearing about my product and they can simply just go unfollow you and then they'll never get any of your notifications and that's the worst thing that can happen so um, I do encourage you to do that so let me know if you have any questions about this tutorial